One of the real important approaches we use when either studying snakes or in our monitoring programs with snakes is, is called mark recapture. And basically what that means is that we, we capture an animal and we mark it using some type of technique. And then we come back in the future and we recapture that animal. And using that technique, it allows us to do a wide variety of things. It allows us to assess how snake populations are doing over time. It allows us to look at the status of that individual animal in reproductive condition. How often is it breeding? How fast is it growing? Is it eating well? Uh, things of that nature. The primary technique we use to mark snakes is called pit tagging. Uh, each chip has a very unique code, um, and it's the same type of chip that you would put into your dog, for example, or any other pet for that matter. So we've got a, a pine snake here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restrain it in a tube, and then I'll show you how we go about injecting uh, this pit tag. So there are two places that, that people usually implant pit tags. Oftentimes people will implant them between the skin and the, and the rib cage on the side of the animal. Um, I typically don't like to do that because I worry about, um, you know, as the snake moves through the environment, I worry about that catching on things and eventually um, kind of tearing out of the side. Um, so I typically put them inside of the gut or the what we call the peritoneal cavity of the snake. You know, you don't want it too close uh, to the tail of the snake, which begins here at the cloaca. Um, usually put it in the lower half of the snake. So the first thing I do is, is make a, a loop in the animal's body and hold it tight. And then I take this injector here. You don't want to go down the middle of the snake's body because there's an artery through there that if you hit it, it can really cause a lot of damage. I go in with a pretty sharp angle because I want to break the skin. Then I turn it and flatten it out so the open part of the syringe is pointing against the snake's body. And then just gently inject the pit tag. And pull out slowly. Just massage the location to make sure that the pit tag is, has truly gone inside of the body cavity of the snake. And that animal is marked. So once we have the pit tag inserted into the animal, we put the animal back into the wild, and when we catch it again in the future, um, we would then use this reader, and we would run it along the animal's body, and it would pick up a unique code. We then record the information for this particular snake over long time periods, and, and we can really be much more effective at, at monitoring snake populations and, and ensuring that they're uh, conserved.